Hi there, this is Jordan Alexa from ProSetorials and in this video I'm going to talk about Discus. This is one of the most popular common plugins for WordPress and I'm going to explain how you can install it and also configure it in your WordPress website. Now why should you use Discus? Well I'm going to name you 5 reasons for you to use this plugin. The first reason is it will block report of the common spam that you receive on a daily basis to your website. Actually, their system is so effective in detecting spam that probably won't need any other plugin besides this one installed. So for example, if you have this commit installed, you will probably need to remove it. The second reason for you to use it is it will also have social sharing buttons to the comment section. And this is great because it allows your visitors to share their comments or other people's comments inside of Facebook, Twitter, or any other social profile that they may have and this will bring more visitors to your website. The other reason for you to use it is it will look more professional compared to the standard comment section that WordPress provides. The other reason is people can also share images inside of the comment section of your website which is always neat. And the fifth reason for you to use this plugin is it's completely free. You don't need to pay anything, you just need to install it in your website by following this tutorial also, you will see that you will have a nice interface once you go to their website, discus.com. And inside of their website, you can manage the comment section not only from one website, but from multiple websites at the same time. This is great because it will save you a lot of time from going from one website, logging into one website, then going to another and seeing the several comments that you have over there. Now I'm going to talk about one of the pitfalls of using Discus. Well, one of the pitfalls is a few of your visitors might not like the idea that they need to log in to Facebook, Twitter and so on so they can leave a comment in your website. So you might lose a few comments from that kind of people or others might think that by, by logging into your Facebook and so on somehow it will compromise their privacy in leaving a comment in your website. But besides that, I recommend for you to try this case, see if it increases the engagement in the comment section of a website. If it does, just continue using it. If it doesn't, no harm, no fault. You can just install it, it's free. You really don't lose anything. So let's get started. So for you to install this case in a WordPress website, you want to log into your dashboard and once you are here you want to go to the plugin section and you want to add new. Now on the search box you want to write discus. So this is how you write discus. You will see a listing of relevant plugins but the one that you want to install is this one called discus common system. You may want to click on the more details link so you can get a better explanation of the several features that come with this plugin. And then you just press on install now and you can see that it starts installing this plugin and now you just press activate. Now the process is not complete, you still won't have this because install and activate it in your website because you need to create an account in their website and once you have an account you basically need to connect your Discus account to your WordPress website and that's exactly what I'm going to show to you now. So. In your plugin listing you want to go to the one that says discus comment system and you want to click on the link that says configure now there might be a page that appears previously which asks you to update your database you just need to click on the update option and it's nothing special then you are taken to this page where it asks you your login information so for you to get your login information you need to of course create a Discus account and that's exactly what I'm going to do now so you just need to click on this link that says don't have a Discus profile yet and I'm going to open this in a new tab. Now you might want to sign up using one of these options such as your Facebook profile or Twitter or G Plus profile or you might just insert your name, your email address and password and sign up using this option. Now I already have an account with Discus so I'm not going to create a, another one. I'm just going to the login tab and 
already have over here my information so I'm just going to press login now you want to go to your administration panel and you do that by clicking on this link that says admin and once you are here you can see that you have this tab over here on the top and you want to click on this arrow and I already have over here two websites but I'm going to add a new one so I just press on the new button and in this page it says create a new site uh, I already have some information over here such as my site owner and also our organization and then you just need to have website name so I'm just going to add the name for my website let's say just prosatorials in this case and then just select the category so in this case it's touch that I want to select and then you just press the create site now you may want to read this information but I read this so I'm just going to press yes I understand this case is both comments and native ads then you just need to select the platform that you are using in your website. In my case, I'm using WordPress. So I'm just going to click on this option. And then it gives you some instructions on how to install this plugin. In this case, I'm just going to ignore this and just press on the configure option. And once again, complete setup. And also dismiss setup. Okay, so now I have my new site installed here. As you can see, Pro Site Tutorials. Now what I need to do is go back to my dashboard where I can see my login page. And I just need to log in with my information. So I'm just going to put over here my password and also username and email. I already have it over here. And I'm just going to press Next. and select a website so you need to select the website that you want to use in your discuss in this case it's this one pro tutorials and I'm going to press next and you can continue to the moderation dashboard but at this moment I already have discuss installed in my website so I'm going to show to you the difference I'm going to my website And I'm going to one of my posts. And you can see that I have this case installed. Now let's go back to the administration panel so I can show you how you can change the settings for your discussion. Now in this page you want to go to the settings of your website and you can do that by clicking on the settings tab or you can click on the link that says edit settings and these are the general settings of your website uh, you can have the URL of your website if you want and I'm going to do that now tutorials. and also you can change some of the options from your discussion such as default commenter avatar default avatar is this avatar over here if someone goes to your website and if they don't have an avatar they will get this one you can change this by just uploading an image that you have stored in your computer by using the second option which I'm not going to do now but you can do that then you can change the category also the description language appearance and if you have adult uh, information inside of your website you might want to check this option and then you just press save so you can save all of the configuration that you just did now let's go to community here you have a few other settings that allow you to configure even more the discussion area of your website for example comment count link you can change the test that you want to appear when you have zero comments inside of one of your posts or one comment and so on you can change this if you want or inside of the moderator batch what is the test that you want to appear in this case I just have mode and I can change this for to moderator or whatever you want you can change this default cert if you want your best comment to appear first or if you want your newest comment to appear first oldest and so on you can change this let's say 
newest first guest commenting if you want your guests to be able to leave comments inside of your website this means that they don't need to have a discus account so they can do that and in this case i'm going to check this option pre-moderation this is really up to you if you want your comments to first be all approved so they can be published in your website or not so you can choose between these two options links and comments this means if you check this option uh, the if someone leaves a link inside of their comment it needs to first be approved so it can be published inside of your website that comment media attachment if you want people to share images and so on inside of the comment section I'm going to check this option flat comments what exactly is the type of actions you want to be taken when one of the comments gets flagged so in this case email moderators when a post is flagged I'm going to check this option do not display comment once it's flagged you can choose this if you want in this case I'm going to leave it and check automatic closing I don't like this option I'm not going to use this option neither I'm going to use Twitter replies I'm just going to press the save button and go to the next section which is called advance in the advanced tab you might want to check the several options that you have over here and see the ones that you want to use but quite honestly I really use any of them besides the last one which allows me to delete a particular discus which I no longer want to use and let's go to the community tab now in the community section is basically where you will be able to moderate the comments that you have inside of your website the ones that are still pending the ones that you put in spam or deleted you can also see the engagement by checking the second option analyze engagement of course at the moment I don't have any information over here because I just install this case in my website I can also see the top comments community rules we already checked this page previously you can also go to moderators and basically had new moderators to your website by just inserting over here the username word filters basically you can put over here several words and that means that for example let's put over here sex that means that when someone leaves a comment and they use this word sex inside of their comment that comment will first need to be approved by you or by one of your moderators so it will be published inside of your website so this is pretty useful you can also over here have ban users users that you no longer want to participate inside of your website discussion you can change the author from a particular post and so on inside of your website then you have some tools which allows you to import um, it allows you to import comments from other platforms or from another WordPress website that you have and then you have the export option which allows you to export the comments that you have stored in your website to another one so now let's just do a small testing so you can see how everything works so I'm going to go over here to my other browser now I'm going to leave a comment inside of my post as I was a guest inside of my website so I'm going to write something over here hi Jordan and in name I'm going to select name and you can see that I have this option I'd rather post has a guest because if you remember I checked this option previously in my settings so I can post has a guest and I just need to leave my name and my email over here and let's see how this works and now I just need to press this zero so I can leave a comment over here and now you can see your comment is awaiting for moderation so let's go over here and let's see on the start option you can see that now I have a comment pending and basically all of your comments now will pass through 
this section through Discuss. So you no longer need to go, for example, to your WordPress website and manage everything. That's why uh, when you are using Discuss, everything becomes easier because you just need to go to Discuss and you can basically manage the discussion that you have in several websites at the same time. So you can see I click on this option, moderate comments, and I have one pending over here. And basically all I need to do as a moderator is if I like the comment, I just need to approve this. And there you go. So this is basically how this case works. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you had a good understanding of how you can use this case. So that is all for this video. Please leave a comment or like my video so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress and internet marketing. So stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye!